fracking, a controversial and widely divided issue. The government have given over 100 licences to energy firms, allowing them to pursue operations. They argue that it increases employment and makes cheaper energy. However, the public say that the ends simply don't justify the means. I'm here at Manchester Airport, where a rally is taking place against the commissioning of a new fracking site. Supporters want their voices heard after national governments overruled local councils' decision to reject fracking. In its most basic form, fracking is the process of drilling into the earth to extract gas. So it seems that we know fracking is a risk to our health, we know it's a risk to our climate, it seems now it is also a risk to our democracy. The idea is we want the fracking unit to know wherever they show their head, even if they choose to do it in secret like here, we will turn up and we will make them, we will make it absolutely clear that we say no and we mean no. really close uh, connections between this industry and the shale industry. The former CEO of Quadrilla uh, used to be the chief non-executive director to parliament. So there were people in big oil and gas right at the heart of our democracy. It was against what the people in those communities wanted. The vast majority of people at Preston New Road and Rosica have very clearly said they do not want this industry. And Sajid Javi, Theresa May and the government have just gone completely against those wishes. Communities have not given their consent for this industry and they'll be fighting it all the way, working together to ensure that we never have fracking in the UK. They said a huge no. He's turned that to yes. People still say no. We're not going to stand for it. We want investment in renewables and we want it now. Undoubtedly this is a very important issue to many with demonstrations like this taking place beyond the Greater Manchester and Lancashire region. Only time will tell whether these protests will make a difference to the government's final decision on the new fracking site. Michael Sheridan, Keys News, Manchester Airport.